hello everybody welcome and welcome back to another video so today we are going to be doing some food preservation i'm preserving some tomatoes that i got from the madina market i'm also preserving some plantains i got a whole bunch of it so i cut off a few parts and i'm going to be preserving this and also some water leaf agboma or boko boko i'm going to start off with the tomato because it's going to take a very very long time I'm trying now to wing it with AC's tomato preservation method. I got this. This is one bucket of tomato for 50 CDs from Madina Market. So I'm going to be trying this out first. I'm just going to transfer the tomato into another bowl where I'm going to wash, cut, and then blend. So I'm going to wash, cut, and blend all the tomatoes. And then I'm going to move on to the next level. So this is all my blended tomato. I'm just transferring it into my cold pot. Um, saucepan. I've made it a cold pot saucepan because it's good for sauce, the cold pot anyway. So this is me just warming up the coals on my cold pot because when I watched Ace's video, it took about three hours for the tomato to get ready on gas. And I said, ah, this can't be me. I cannot boil tomato for three plus hours on the gas because I'm using charcoal. So I got my charcoal lit up and I've put my tomato on fire and I'm going to leave this to do its own thing and boil. So whilst our tomato is busily boiling, I'm going to start working on the plantain. So this is fufu plantain. I got a whole bunch of plantain for, I think, 80 CDs. It was a lot of plantain. And I kept quite a number for um, to allow it to ripen. And I'm going to save this one so that when I need to make fufu, I can just take this out of the freezer and put in some boiling water. So what I'm doing now is basically just peeling off the, basically just taking off the peels of the plantain and um, it's quite easy if you know how to go about it so i'm sticking off the peels i'm just going to use my knife to scrape off the excess fiber looking thing and i'm going to cut it into chunks into the sizes that i usually use when making my fufu so peeling your plantain is practically easy just have a sharp enough knife cut off the ends and then use the tip of the knife to run along the sides of the plantain if your your finger is not working well you can just use the knife so just use the sides of your thumb to run along the side that you cut and again you can alternate between your thumb and then um, the knife if the thumb is not working well and you basically just um, slide your thumb through the open part and then open the plantain up so i'm just going to be doing this over the over each plantain until i am done So I'm going to move on to check on our tomato. This has been boiling for about 30 minutes now and I just love how it's boiling. I'm just going to leave it to do its own thing and then boil as much as it can. One eternity later. So after about two hours, the water has reduced drastically. I haven't added water to this. I blended the tomato like just like that. I just cut it off and I blended it. There was no water in this. So as it's boiling, the water is coming now and I'm just stirring the tomato paste ish thing right now to allow for um most of the water to come out actually at this point my patient was just was being tested because it was keeping so long i had to keep putting new charcoal to allow it to boil it was taking a very very long time but it was thickening up really really nicely and this is it after a number of hours i i couldn't continue i just had to take it off but there was still a little bit of water in it but it was is barely visible so this is what it looks like right now and i've just dished it into my bowls and this is what it looks like it took a very very long time so after about um three hours of boiling tomato this is the quantity that i got for one bucket of tomatoes so coming back to my plantains i have peeled off most of it i'm just going to arrange it nicely inside my bowl i'm going to be arranging it in a way that it's going to be easy for me to take out of the bowl once it's frozen any way you arrange it will be easy to take out of the bowl or your wrapper or however you're going to be storing it so i'm just arranging it in a presentable ish manner so that um, i can freeze it i'm just going to be arranging it in batches so this batch that i'm doing it should be enough for maybe two portions of fufu for my standard family size 
if you are going to be having business over definitely i'll use this just once but just for my family i don't really use a lot of fingers of plantain when making my fufu i usually use about three fingers of plantain that's like 10 weeks worth and i get about um nine to ten pieces of cut plantain so this is going to work probably two or three times i might use it like two or three times so when this is done i am just going to keep this in the freezer so this is what it looks like i'm just going to cover it and then leave it in the freezer now moving on to our agoma i'm coming to now pluck the water leaf this one we got it from our farm we grow our own water leaf when we have some if we don't have any we just go and buy from the market so i'm just going to be plucking the water leaf basically just plucking the leaves of the stem and get as much leaves as possible from each stem so after peeling my water leaf after plucking this i should say this is what we have left all that water leaf this is what i have left so i'm just going to be washing this about two or three times i'm going to be using some rock salt to wash this i always use rock salt when i'm washing my vegetables or basically my water leaves because i know i feel like the rock salt washes the well i might be wrong i don't know but i like using rock salt so when i use a rock salt or this is sea salt this is actually sea salt this is adan salt so i'm going to wash it two or three times then when i'm done i'll put it on fire and after about 30 minutes this is what came out of it all that quantity of um leaf this is the quantity that i got after washing it and i like to use this in my okra soup in my palm nut soup or any soup that um i want to use water leaf in so after a number of hours our foods have been prepped for preservation thank you to ac for the tomato recommendation and if you enjoyed today's video you know what to do give me a massive thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye